Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we'll talk about one of the most important things for any researcher is to determine the research topic. Of course, before you start your research, you need to determine your topic, your title, all these things. But the, the question today is how to choose a publishable research topic. Because the aim of any researcher that at the end of the research, he or she need to publish his findings whether as a manuscript, paper, article, participate in a conference, all these things. So you need, to, from the beginning, to choose a topic that it is publishable after you finish your research. First of all, uh, just as an introduction, what is research? Uh, research is a journey of information through determined hunt or examination or experimentation that undergo for the disclosure or uh, uh, to get a new knowledge or a new learning. Disclosure of a new data or use of existing data in a novel manner and the requirement for evidence. Always we say, why we do a research? Because we need an evidence. Example in medicine, if we want to change a policy, if we want to teach, change a treatment, we need an evidence that the new treatment is better than the previous treatment. So if we don't have an evidence, we cannot change the policy, we cannot change the procedure, we cannot change the treatment, so we need evidence. More specifically, research involves a trained way to deal with the request, strategy of testing and generate theory. The most important that we need a method to test our hypothesis, and also it is a systematic way of defining and answering the research questions. What is research cycle? The research cycle starts with an idea, as here. You can see that any research starts with an idea or topic, then research a question. What is specific we want to answer about this problem? Then we will develop the proposal that contains the methodology, objective, hypothesis, data collection, analysis, all these things. And of course, we need an ethics approval. We cannot conduct any study, whether on animal, on human, without an approval. Then we collect the data, we clean and enter the data into the software, we analyze it using the statistical software, and of course, the final product can be thesis, publication, dissertation, or even a conference uh, presentation. So, after you finish the final product, you go again to another topic. That's why it's called a cycle. The researcher continue to do research the whole life. He will never stop by one topic. After you finish one topic, you go to the next topic okay so how we choose a research topic when we choose a research topic we should identify the big area of a study then we make a list of all possible subtopics how to do this of course we nowadays we can search online databases we can go to google scholar to find similar study if have been done before because if a study done before among the same population in the same location it is waste of time and waste of resources to redo it again to duplicate why because the result will be similar to the previous study but let's say if a study was done in u.s and you want to repeat it in uh, iraq of course you can do it again why because it is a different location different population a solid research topic is a focused topic you should have a clear specific problem and determine if the scope of the research is appropriate of course, you should start with an idea of a clear question about specific problem that can be explored further and make significant improvement on the knowledge in your research discipline. Of course, when you choose a topic, this topic or your research should add to the knowledge. Okay, if you want to do something about obesity, your research should add something to the obesity field whether it is about risk factor, treatment, management of obesity, anything. So you should add something in you. The topic should be researchable. You should ensure that your topic is not too large, not too small. We always emphasize on this point, researchable, giving the time and the resources that you have or what is available for you. Example, if you are doing a master, a master usually it is one year program so you cannot choose a topic that needs three years to be done example you want to do a cohort study or an uh, randomized control trial 
so should be researchable giving the time and the money of course the most important is the financial support and equipment to do research do you have a research grant or no and make sure that your research topic is publishable it will be a waste of time and money to do a research and then fail to publish your findings so the most important and today uh, video to today lecture is about uh, uh, choosing a publishable research topics um, unfortunately uh, around the world there's a million of students they graduate from master program they get the degree but they never publish their papers why because they start working they don't have the time so this is a waste of resources this is all the time that they um, they use to do the experiment to do the research and then nobody know about the, uh, their findings okay important things to consider when choosing a research topic number one choose something that interests you of course should be you have should interest in the topic if you don't have interest you will never finish your research and uh, never ever say in a viva or in the defense of your proposal if they ask you why you choose this topic you say that my supervisor ask me to choose this topic this is the biggest mistake and of course if you say this most probably you will be uh, you will fail the exam never say that this is my supervisor when you talk about postgraduate master phd this is your topic this is your research this is your baby you should defend your baby you should be interested in the topic and of course you have to choose an researchable and achievable topic there are num numerous great topics to study, but some topics are more doable compared to others. Uh, as we said, what you want to do, uh, you have one, two months uh, duration to do your research, and you choose a genetic analysis. This is very, uh, first of all, very expensive. Take Sometimes you need the training, you need to go to use a specific equipment, so it is not doable. What you need to ask yourself you need to ask yourself the following question before you deciding your topics. The first, do you have the required budget needed to do the research? If you don't have money, you cannot do your research. Do you have the knowledge required to conduct the study? Sometimes you need to undergo a training to use a specific equipment to do specific analysis. Do you have the need equipment and resources like do you have a lab to do this specific topics? And of course, do you have the time to conduct the research? So the most important two things is the time and money. Three, choose a research worthy topics. Try to do research among general population. You go outside, you go to shopping malls, a school, village. Avoid do traditional research topic like KAP, knowledge, attitude, practice. As a probability of getting published nowadays is very low. Nowadays, Journal are not interested to publish KAP study. Why? Because many million of KAP study has been done and published over the past few years. So the journal, they said, if we publish a KAP study, the probability of getting citation is too low. So it is a risk to publish a KAP study. Concentrate more on translational research. Translational research, that means you translate your research from theory to practice. Uh, try to do industry research that that later can be trans translated to the society can benefit the community translate finding in fundamental research into medical practice and meaningful health outcomes try to collaborate with colleagues in local and international institute and of course later if you collaborate with uh, other institute let's say it is a uh, uh, interdisciplinary or multidisciplinary research if you collaborate with international university international co-author probability of getting published is higher than you're doing alone you're doing with only your department <clears throat> so publishable topic your manuscript title not necessary same as your research title this is the mistake some of the students they do when they want to publish their research they copy paste their research title and make it as manuscript title or article title. This is wrong. When you publish an article, you can change your uh, title. Example, in this example, the title of research was Living Environment and IQ Among Children. So the manuscript title was The Negative Impact of Living Environment on Children IQ. Why? Because this title was taken from the finding of the research, the conclusion of the research. Why? Because 
the living environment has a negative impact on the IQ of the children. So we modify it to make it more catchy. This one also, when you submit to the journal, it will be uh, interesting for the journal to publish your research compared to the living environment and IQ or the association between living environment and IQ among children. So always try to use a catchy names. Okay, we have to search Google. Find international questionnaire first. This is very important. If you use a standardized questionnaire, it's better than developing your own questionnaire because if you develop your own questionnaire, you need to validate, and this is a very long uh, process. Okay, how to know what is the topic, current topic nowadays in your field? You need to subscribe to journal table of contents to get idea on the latest research worldwide. So here, example, Journal of Community Health. There is register for journal updates. So every issue they publish, they will send you an email. You can go to the table of contents. You know what is the people in the world doing uh, research in your field. So this is an example of the email. They send you an email. Every issue published, they will send you an email. Okay. Uh, new research area. Try to do something new. We are now focusing on medical and health. Example like social media effect nowadays, adolescent health. We are talking about environmental health, air pollution, climate change. Of course, elderly health. Why? Because nowadays, many of the country around the world, they're getting older and older. The percentage of those who are above 65 and 70 years old is getting older. And all these, uh, this age group, they have uh, a lot of challenge challenges. So focus on this area. This is DC3 example. If you choose this paper, uh, this research topic, the possibility of getting published is very high. Try to do research among vulnerable groups, talking about children under 5, adolescent, 11 to 19, elderly, migrant health. Also nowadays we are talking about refugee around the world. There is a lot of conflicts, a lot of natural disaster. Uh, migrant and refugee is a very hot topic. If you choose this topic, then later to get a publish is very easy and your chance will be higher. Of course, always we talk about research title, which should be less than 20, contain the three W, which is what, who, and where. This is very important to, to, to put where, the location of your study. Okay, what is the five important deciding point for manuscript to be accepted later when you submit your abstract? Number one, the most important is the topic and title. Why? Because when you submit your paper to the journal, the editor-in-chief will look to your abstract and your title. If it is good, then he will decide to send your paper for review to the reviewers. So the topic must be interesting and novel. And as we said, always try to using a catchy title. This is very important. So number one important is the title and topic. Study design, of course, you use case control cohort or experimental, get you a higher chance than cross-sectional studies. Nowadays, journal not interested in cross-sectional study. Sample size, the bigger the better. Now we are in the era of big data, more than 1,000 will be will be a good number but nowadays if you if you send a, a paper with 100 sample size the rejection rate is very high english writing always we say one of the most important rejection reason is a poor english written so you need to improve your Eng your english if your english is not good try to send your manuscript for english editing service professional service and the statistic if you do only descriptive the rejection rate is very high. Try to use chi square t test ANOVA. And of course, if you have logistic regression, if you are doing linear multiple logistic regression, linear regression, uh, factor analysis, your chance of getting accepted, getting published is higher. Okay. What are the mistakes to avoid? Number one, as we said, KAP study, knowledge attitude practice. Unless it is something you knew and not done before, try to avoid this type of topics. Why? Because uh, to get published is very difficult. But you can do KAP study as a research, but when you publish your uh, research, try to modify the title. Don't make it KAP. Okay, we can make it like poor knowledge, poor attitude, something like that. Study already done before in your country. If the study done in your country, it is no point of doing it again. Wasting of money, wasting of time. Why? Because it will be the same result. Very specific population or, loca or location. International journal will not be interested to publish research finding is not if, if only applicable to specific population. We are talking here about indigenous people. If you do 
research about indigenous people, international journal will not be interesting to publish it. Why? Because this finding is only applicable to this uh, specific uh, group of people. Study done among the student. Um, also, why? Because journal later, nowadays millions of paper done among students. Why? Because it is very easy to collect the data if you are a lecturer in a university. But later, the journal, they are not interested nowadays. They are more interested if you are study done among general population in the society, if you go to the shopping malls. Uh, <coughs> the possibility of getting published will be higher. Why? Because it is more beneficial to the society. Also, again, student is just a specific uh, group of people. Descriptive study must have at least inferential statistics like chi square t test ANOVA. Descriptive is only or the only describing like if you put only uh, frequency and percentage, nobody will be uh, interested to publish your research. If you develop your own questionnaire also, unless if it is a validation study, yes, you can publish it, but if you, but better to use international standardized and validated questionnaire because if you use a well-known questionnaire, possibility of your paper to be accepted is higher. Okay, avoid use consequences, complication, effectiveness, and the title. Why? Because later, when you go to the methods, you go to the result. How you measure the, uh, how to measure consequences? What is the definition of the consequences or the complications, or how to measure effectiveness? Is effectiveness measurables? Measurable by questionnaire or measurable by uh, some tool, some equipment. This is very important. Avoid small sample size. We are saying that now we are in the big data era. So the journals, researcher prefer big sample size. Avoid putting university name in the research title. You cannot put your exact name of your uh, university in the title. Why? Because some topic is very sensitive. I bet you, I give you an example. If you do a research about depression among medical students, and then you put the depression was high, and then when you publish it, it will be linked that your university is not good, the students are depressed. So you will, you will, absolutely you are damaging the image of your university. It's better to put private or public university student just like this. So, as a conclusion, avoid KAP study can be replaced with awareness or something else. Try to do among general population. You go to the society, villages, and uh, look for a new research area. As we said, we are talking about the environmental health and also the social media. Try to do something novel, something new, because your uh, chance to get uh, to, for your research to be published is very high. Thank you so much for being with us and hope you will get benefit from this uh, video. Uh, please uh, subscribe and follow our YouTube channel. Thank you so much.